Hey everyone, Rodimus2099 here with another review. Today I am reviewing the uh, pretty badass figure, which is Wheeljack. Wheeljack looks awesome. He looks fantastic. I mean, fantastic. He looks fantastic. Honestly, I think that he is probably my favorite figure right now because of how nice he does look. So. He is a very slim car, very slim and thin, which I think works for him. Uh, he has a lot of logos on. Main one is Arrow Bolt. I think that might probably come into play in the TV show. They might sort of uh, do something with it. Um, so I hope they do, because that would be kind of cool. Uh, main problem in this mode, besides just being amazing car mode, honestly, I think that this is going to be a hard one to top with other figures in the Siege line. No headlights. Look, he has no headlights. Flipping him around. Not much robot kibble. Of course, the back head. And you can kind of point out the arms. Otherwise, it's not too much. I'm not paying to look at the bottom side of the figure. But that is something that I do like to be kind of nice. Kind of neat. Um, it looks bad. I understand it though, so I'm okay with it. I'm not angry with it. I am angry with it, but otherwise, he does look pretty nice. I really hope that they kind of explain some of these logos, mainly Arrow Bolt, because that is a big one going on. Uh, 638. I would kind of like some explanation of that. Does have a nice Autobot symbol right there. So, let's transform this guy. We will do. Sorry, I had to kind of move, because right now I'm sitting on the floor, which is killing my knees. Killing my knees. Alright, so we're going to pick him up. Fold him like this. We are going to first split apart the fins. The fins will uh, make his little silver things. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen Wheeljack. So, now we're going to try to separate the arms from the rest of the body. So, you're going to twist the front part, grabbing here, to pop the this part, the part that my thumb's covering, the different white and the different and the red. You want to pop that out. That is the hand, and that will separate the arm. So I like to just do a little twist, and then kind of get your finger under there and pull along while doing the twist. The twist helps because it does push the tabs in the way. But you could break it that way, so... Do it how you must. Fold the hands to be forward. They're going to go straight down. Now, the pegs that this is attached into. It is annoying. They're easy to separate from, but annoying to plug in. Because you aren't going all the way in it. You are going a quarter of the way. You're going, you're sliding this in, and then pushing it down, trying to get it in it. It is hard. Just did it, but it is hard. It is hard. Um, so don't be angry with it. Don't force it. Just do it. Get the arms that way. I like to bring the shoulders kind of very much up. That way they're out of the way. You could even fold them all the way out. This is just how I do it. Fold up the head, which snazzy head. And then we're going to rotate this all the way around and accordion the. Oh, well, actually, you kind of got to do this first. You gotta kind of wiggle these out. That will send the top windshield up, which you can accordion it. I'll show you from this side. Accordion it into his chest. Then we're gonna take the legs, move this, the shell of it, out. Fold in the glass panel so that it's facing the floor now. And then you're going to kind of friction this in. And fold this up, forming a leg, and that looks nice. Do that again on this side. Hulk fell over, sorry. And fold that in. There you got Wheeljack. <laughs> Wheeljack is just probably my favorite character uh, in all of Transformers. Uh, mainly G1, because that was his introduction, man. And he was cool. He was cool, because he was like a scientist, but he was also kind of insane. And he was funny, and he had a he had a story, he had a plot line. Unlike Ratchet, I wanted to love Ratchet, but Ratchet really wasn't a character. He was in it, but he wasn't a character. 
I still think that Wheel Jack is probably one of my favorites from G1. So I'm glad that I finally found a perfect version of him. Is this one perfect though? Nah. Alright, his face sculpt. His face sculpt is the most G1 thing I have seen all day. It is fantastic. It looks exactly like him. I had to bring the photo up just so that you could see his eyes. It looks awesome. It looks like Wheeljack. I love it. I thoroughly do. Now, zooming out. He does come with a weapon. Weapon. I don't think it's a weapon. I don't like it even. It is this. This little thing. I don't know if this is a welder or a missile or I'm assuming it's a missile because it has the perfect tab to fit into his shoulder tab, his shoulder ports. And so, showing it like that. There you go. I think that's it. My friend said, no, 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 it's just a little welding tool. And I went, that makes no sense. But I found that the best way to do it and my favorite way is to plug it in to his arm, sort of like a fusion cannon. But wait, there's more. I use the X-Men Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Apocalypse Wolverine Cable. I plug that right into it. I plug that into there. And you're probably saying, where does this go? Where does this go? Where does this excess go? Well, there's a plug right in his back. Boop. Boop. There you go. And it does come out sometimes, but this is mainly what I'm going to be using for whenever he's kind of using this weapon tool. I'm using more as a tool in my stop motion series. And yes, the reason why there will be a season 3 of my Transformers stop motion, even though they are incredibly hard to do, is because of Wheeljack. Wheeljack, you, you can thank him, man. You can thank him. If it wasn't for this figure, I wouldn't want to continue that series, because that is a kind of hard thing to do. Now that they are on Cybertron, I don't know what to do, so if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. But this guy looks fantastic. He looks fantastic. Comparing to one of my other favorite Transformers figures, it's Jetfire. He comes up to Jetfire's waist. Yeah, he's small, but he is a... Newer style deluxe figure, so he's not as big as the old deluxes, a eh, the olden days, but he is fantastic. I'd honestly well recommend anyone this figure with even the slightest Transformers fan, because he will kind of make your collection look that much cooler. So should you buy him? I'd say yeah. <laughs> and Wheeljack was just one of those characters. I loved him, so I'm glad to finally have him in a nice, fantastic figure form. I give this one a...